Hey guys, hopefully you have had a chance to look over these first three, uh, kind of important that you have. Um, but we're going to be talking about some measures of center and spread, um, kind of getting into our statistics unit. So um, I've given you some salaries of some famous Ohioans, um, and I want you to find the mean, median, and mode of these. I want to let you know that I did look up LeBron James' salary, and the other ones are completely made up. I have no idea what Mr. Barry makes, so don't quote me on this. So anyway... Hopefully you already found the mean, median, and mode. Um, I did. The mean turns out to be 6,240,400. Uh, remember, that's where you just add them all up and you divide by five. Um, the median, that's the middle number, and I was so nice to put these in order. Uh, Mr. Bentley is the middle number, so 42,000. And remember, the mode is the one that occurs most often, and uh, there is none in this. So the second question was this, which is, do you feel is the best measure of the center of the data? If you took these four gentlemen, five gentlemen, sorry, um, who, how would you describe the middle, their average salary? Well, probably the median is the best one. I mean, you certainly wouldn't look at this and say, oh, their average salary is $6 million, um, because, you know, Mr. Green and Mr. Walker, they're not making anywhere close to $6 million. Um, so that leads us to question number two. Are any of the values in number one outliers? And yeah, definitely, you would say that Mr. James is definitely an outlier. He makes way more money than everybody else. Uh, so he's kind of skewing the data, okay? He makes this mean be way bigger um, than it would otherwise be. Now, how do we decide if they're outliers? Well, this one's fairly obvious. Um, that's one of our problems that we're going to be kind of investigating a little bit further. Uh, so anyway, we'll move on to the next example, and we'll come back and kind of talk about these in a minute. We have a shoe store, and they're placing new orders. Um, and so you calculated the mean, median, and mode. Um, I did this also. The mean turns out to be 8.2. The median turns out to be 8, and the mode turns out to be 8. Now, which is the best measure of the center of the data? Well, probably the median and the mode in this case. Um, and the reason we would say this is because the mean being 8.2, no, there's no such thing as a size 8.2. So if you said, you know, what is the average shoe size of these women that are shopping here? Well, nobody wears an 8.2, so that doesn't really make any sense. So really, the one that occurs most often is the best measure. Um, so if the manager wants to know what sizes to order more of, he's going to look at the mode of his data. So that brings us to the chart that was at the top of your page um, of just what the mean, median, and mode are. Mean is often what people refer to as the average. Um, that's where you add them. Add, them up and divide by the number of items. And you've been doing this for a long time. We don't need to talk more about that. Um, we use that a lot. We use that a lot when there's averages. Um, the mean is best used when um, there's no outliers, when all of the data is pretty close together. No outliers, data is somewhat similar. Okay, but as we saw from the salary example, um, the mean has a serious problem if you have outliers, like a, a salary that's way, way above everybody else, um, that can really change things. Um, I'm sure you've noticed, you know, if, you're take, if you have a bunch of tests or something, um, and you normally get A's and B's, and then all of a sudden you get like a totally bomb one, you get a 10%, that really drags your average down. Okay, so ones that are really far away really affect the mean. Um, the median is the middle number. Okay, so when you put them in order, uh, remember if there's two middle numbers, you just add them together and divide by two. The median's best used when you have outliers. When, when there are outliers, um, or extreme values. So as you can see again from the salary one, LeBron James is kind of an extreme 
salary compared to the rest of the people. Um, and so he was really affecting the mean. So the median is a lot better thing to look at. Um, when you look at census data uh, for the U.S. population, they always talk about what's the median income for families. Um, because people who are super rich, like Warren Buffett and Donald Trump, they are pulling the mean way up, okay? Whereas most of us make significantly less than that. The mode is the number that occurs most often. That you can't, I, you can't even read that. Most often. I apologize for occurs. Um, it's best used um, when you want your middle value, like when it doesn't make sense to have um, a decimal value for your median and mean. Um, so when the center value needs to be a data item. And that's like in the shoe example, okay? When we found the mean, well, size 8.2, that doesn't mean anything, okay? It can't, there's no such thing as a size 8.2. So that's a case where the mode is actually a little bit more helpful. Um, we're going to look at some more situations. Hopefully this is a lot of review, but I want you to definitely to understand, you know, I know you've been doing mean, median, mode for years and years and years. I want you to understand that um, each one of those has its own place and a time that it's better to use it than something else.